So we're going to do this part eight right now. So it's combination uh, arithmetic. So it's basically solving or uh, simplifying uh, expressions with combinations in them. So the first thing to do always in this case here is uh, write out what it is in terms of factorial notation. So this is going to be n factorial and then divided by n minus 5 factorial and 5 factorial there, okay? And we have another big divide, so that's this dividing that I'm drawing right there, that one. And then we're going to write this bottom expression here. So n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus 3 factorial. Now it's n minus 1 because of this here, and then it's minus 3 because of that right there, okay? And then times 3 factorial. Now let's simplify it in the next line. So n factorial over n minus 5 factorial, 5 factorial. And then when we're dividing, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So at the same time, is it okay if I change this to n minus 4? Okay, so we'll call this n minus 4 in here. So that's n minus 4 factorial, 3 factorial there, and then n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so now let's uh, break up our factorials. Let's expand them so that we can do some canceling. So I'll write this as n times n minus 1 factorial so that it'll cancel with that one there. And then I can write this as n minus 4 times n minus 5 factorial. Okay, and then that's 3 factorial. So that's the numerator. And now my denominator, I've got my n minus 5 factorial, my n minus 1 factorial. And then my 5, I'm going to expand it and write it as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial so that I can do that. I can get rid of those guys there. So let's reduce everything we can out of here. And then we've got n times n minus 4 over 5 times 4, which if we simplify this further, we have n squared minus 4n over 20. And this is where you would end. Okay. Now the second one. The second one here, this is an actual equation, so we have to solve for n. Okay, that's our goal. But first what we're going to do is we're going to write all of these in uh, factorial notation. So 2 times n factorial over n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And then that is equal to n plus 1 factorial over n plus 1 minus 3 factorial uh, times 3 factorial. Okay. Now let's simplify what we can. So over here we have, can I cancel this out right here? So I've got a 2 here and then I've got a 2 factorial. So I can cancel those out right now. That 3 factorial is from right there. Yeah, I've got this n minus 1. So this n plus 1 minus 3, can I simplify this? What can I write it as? So I can write that as n minus 2 factorial. Okay? So let's see how it all pans out now. I've got n factorial over n minus 2 factorial from this side here. And then on this side, I've got n plus 1. And then I've got n minus 2 here. Okay. Now, I need to get this written out so I can simplify the n minus 2 factorial out. Uh, 
and I've got one here as well that I can write out. So let's expand this so that it's n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial, I should have a bracket around that guy, over, <coughs> excuse me, n minus 2 factorial, so I can cancel that out. Then this n plus 1, I can write it as n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial over n minus 2 factorial. Whew. All right. How are you doing? Keeping up? Okay. So now, so what do we have so far? So let's write out what we've got simplified. What is 3 factorial evaluated? This actually is 6. So is it okay if I write 6 in my next step for that? Okay. So n times n minus 1 equals n plus 1, n, n minus 1, and this is divided by 6. Okay. So what do you notice that we could do on both sides of those equal signs? What do you notice? If I were to divide both sides by n, what would happen? It would cancel there. And how about here? If I divided both sides by n minus 1, what happens here? Those cancel, right? So what am I actually left with? 1 equals n plus 1 over 6. And then how do I continue? Multiply both sides by 6. And we end up getting 6 equals n plus 1. So my final answer is n is equal to 5. All right. <coughs> so a lot of expanding of the factorial and reducing and keeping track of what you have. Okay, so let's hit pause and let's hit pause and then I'm going to let you guys uh, have a chance to try the next couple of questions, okay? So hang tight. Okay. So we're back, we got these questions done, and I'll just take you quickly through what I've done for each of them. So in this one here, we wrote them in, we wrote the combinations in factorial notation, okay? So the n minus one comes from here, and the three is, is there. So make sure when we're figuring this one out here, we go n minus one minus three, and then that simplifies to n minus four, and then, You've got one over, one over this combination here. So then we've got the n minus two, and then the n minus two minus three. So that simplifies to n minus five. And then we flipped the second fraction and multiply, yeah. And so we multiply these two together. Now we're gonna reduce these. We're going to reduce these, and then here, we're going to expand this n minus 1 factorial. So this n minus 1 factorial here, <laughs> we're going to expand it so that it's n minus 2. So we got n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial, so that we could multiply them through, OK? And we end up with n minus 1 over n minus 4. OK, you guys are having fun? Okay, applause, yay! Okay. Okay. All right, so now here's this next one. Now, remember when you're doing this, this is a combination and permutation. So this one, you're going to have the n minus 5 times 5 factorial. Here, in this side, you're not going to have that extra 5 factorial there, okay? You're just going to have n plus 1 minus 5. So reduce that. That becomes n minus 4 factorial. And then you could follow my notes here. So this 120 is from 5 factorial. And then I reduced 720 over 120, which left me with 6. And then, mm -hmm, OK. So now we're left with this uh, after we've simplified everything. 
and then expand your factorials so that you can do your canceling. And from this step to this step, what I did was multiply both sides by n minus 1 factorial so that I can expand this a little bit, one more, so that I can cancel out the n minus 5 factorials, okay? And then to get from this step down to here, I expanded this side so that it's n times n plus 1. So n factorial times n plus 1. And then I can cancel out this n factorial and this n factorial. So, or you divide both sides by n factorial. And then that's continued on a post-it note because I wrote out way too many steps. <coughs> and the answer is n minus 5. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Sorry if it got a little noisy in the middle. You can blame my... Uh, You don't have to show all the steps. You don't have to show up. You don't have to show all the steps. I overstepped it. I overstepped it a little, but I tend to do that when I'm doing examples. Okay, there you go. That was exciting. Thanks for coming out.